good, y'all. So in this video, I'm going to be reacting to Sunny V2, um, when Post Malone humbled, um, Charlemagne the God, I believe. I don't remember the exact title, but that was the gist. So anyways, I don't know what they're talking about. I honestly didn't watch the, um, Breakfast Club like that. I did at one point in my, like, when I was like a freshman in college, just because during the drive, I didn't watch it, but I would just like listen to it on the way to school. Um, but other than that, yeah, I don't really, some of the, you know, the host, well, didn't, I didn't mesh with them. I didn't, I didn't really fuck with some of the shit, shit that they did. So yeah, nah. So anyways, let's just get into it. Post Malone was on track to become a megastar and Charlemagne could clearly sense it. Cause you don't realize you about to be a star. No, I think, I think, I, I think I know that it's coming. Charlemagne therefore spent almost an hour trying to corner and embarrass his guest. What are you doing for the Black Lives Matter movement? I don't know. Although the whole situation completely backfired to Post Malone's benefit. It was August of 2015. Post Malone was yet to get his first tattoo and had just six months prior released his major breakout song, White Iverson. He'd done his first radio interview exactly four months beforehand, which went extremely oh, well. I put out White Iverson like two months ago. We just hit two million views like a couple days ago, which is crazy. And to keep this momentum going, he'd agreed to appear on The Breakfast Club. The show is well known for being the most listened to hip hop and R&B morning show in America and features three hosts, one of which being Charlemagne the God, who to be fair is usually an excellent presenter. The Breakfast Club has hosted almost every rapper from Kanye West to Jay-Z, making it a massive opportunity for any up and coming artist, which in this case was Post Malone. We are the Breakfast Club, special guest in the building. State your name, soldier. Post, Post Malone. Malone. Post Malone. The interview began extremely positively, with Post and Charlemagne bonding over their support for the same football team. He is from Dallas and he's a Dallas Cowboys fan. My guy. Yeah. And I tried my hardest. Yeah. Hard, <laughs> However, when Post revealed his dad also worked for the Cowboys, Charlemagne's rudeness began to show. His dad you actually <laughs> used to work for the organization. What was he, Waterboy? He, does, he still works for what the organization. He He's like head of concessions. See. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said water boy. That's like kind of. No, he he like, he, 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 he in the office. Man. He's what in the office. He's in the office. He's in the man. office. Laughing at his dad's respectable job is mad disrespectful. The shit that pissed me off more than anything was when they were basically laughing at post dad's concession job. Like, sorry. Which is like, it's a fucking job. Will y'all not understand this shit? I mean, okay, we could draw the line some places to like, what's like. But I'm just saying it's a concession shop. It's not like it's no crazy shit, like whatever. Sorry his dad works a respectful job and ain't no drug dealer would have walked out right then and there. Do you right, some of them people you be having on that show be just like, you know, they be they be contributing to the opioid problem in America. And, and motherfuckers be okay with that. Uh, might be thieves or R-worders or stuff like that. I don't know. I, I just, that was a weird thing to like, like, almost like try to big boy somebody like i don't know charlemagne head of concession for a professional sports teams is a high level job they aren't watching over a high school cafeteria post malone responded to charlemagne's rudeness by kindly inviting him to a cowboys game you know we get free tickets we get free chicken street hot dog it's good but well, he gets free tickets yeah that's important good seats yeah sweet sweet well, come so on let's go to which charlemagne responded by insulting post malone's look that's why i think all white people with cornrows look stupid but that has nothing to do with, <laughs> no, nothing cool. to do with you i just think in general with this then resulting in an awkward confrontation about the color of Posty's skin. Are you afraid as a white rapper that you may uh, be considered a culture vulture? I don't think so. I'm not scared. I'm not scared because I'm not trying to be anybody that I'm not. I'm just I'm just trying to, you know, I like what I like. And, and, and I don't think I'm biting off of a certain culture or copying a certain culture or trying to be part of a certain culture because, you know, I like what I like. Charlemagne then tried to trick Post into saying the N-word. <laughs> Don't dance, hey. just pull his head. Go ahead. And do the rock away. No, say the, my, what I just said. My I can't. Don't dance. <laughs> <laughs> it is weird. Isn't it weird, though? Like, it's, he's weird. Like, he's just weird. And that's why he got his ass beat. Who ran up on him? I saw the video. Mofos found his ass and ran the fuck up on him, and he's weird, bro. I feel like anybody, you got to either be very insecure or something's wrong, because why would you even want to make somebody feel this uncomfortable? That's doing, doing nothing. But at this moment, like I said, I don't really follow Post Malone like some of his songs back in the day so i don't know what he is like character wise and everything right here he looks nice i don't know i know one time he fell asleep because he was high as fuck off of like some pills or some shit at a concert which is just more concerning than anything but 
it don't seem like he's a fucked up person at at this moment. So what the fuck is the the, the you feel me? Why is they pressing this motherfucker? <laughs> Y'all trying to get me in trouble. Before hitting him with another loaded question designed to damage Post Malone's image. What are you doing for the Black Lives Matter movement? <laughs> what? I don't know. Is that a serious question? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Anything. I guess what I can do to help Black Lives Matter is I to keep making music. You know what I mean? I don't know. Got you. I don't, I don't know. I would have just said I, nothing. What are you doing for the Black Lives Matter movement? That's He's the type weird, of question you know bro. that no matter how you answer this dude trying to hate you. However, the worst of the interview was still yet to come. Post Malone had brought his girlfriend Ashlyn onto the show, prompting Charlemagne to try and baselessly convince her that Post was going to leave her. You got a girlfriend, don't you? Yeah, yeah, she's, she's right, right there. What? Ashlyn right here. Yeah, she's right oh, there. Oh, hey, Ashlyn. You know he's gonna end up leaving you, right? The more oh, famous don't say that. That's not true. You know? <laughs> You know the more successful you get, you're going, you know. Charlemagne then doubled down on this when his girlfriend got on the microphone. You know he's going to sleep with other women, though. You do know that. You're, he's going to sleep with other women. No, I'm not. It's going to happen, actually. Charlamagne said okay. not only is he going to get urban punani, it's going to be folk, country, yes. pop, yes. urban AC. Yes. A man is only as faithful as his options. You know that, right? You know that? What? A man is only as... That's not fucking true, bro. But like I said, I guess... <laughs> I guess. Faithful as his options. I, I applaud you for trying to do the right thing. I don't want to keep doing it. But it's it. not going to finish that way. Although this had actually become Post Malone's first real chance to show his overwhelming kindness. Still listen, 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 listen. Here's something y'all don't get. I'm not a, I'm not a normal person. I'm a, no, I'm a different type of man. And she's not a normal woman. She's a, she's an angel. She's an incredible person. And I don't think I'm ever going to do nothing. Ruin it. Which ironically gave him more audience favor than if what? it were just a standard interview. Nine powerful ways to reverse your body's biological age. Bitch. Interviewer. My respect for Post Malone went up after this. He stayed cool the whole time. The more I, I see a post. Oh God, I wouldn't have stayed cool. On oh God, I wouldn't have stayed cool. Especially if you telling me my man about to cheat on me. Bitch. Let's talk about you. But look, don't don't just start trying to like jab, like mean jabs, like you're ugly as fuck. No, we're going to get on them at a psychological level. Let's talk about their childhood trauma. And this is why they act that way. Break them down, bro. Break them the fuck down. That's what you got to do. The more I like him, wrong. he seems like a good dude. This wasn't awkward at all. He responded very well. Posty handled that better than any of us would have, although not every comment was quite so positive. A small percentage of viewers hated on Ashlyn for barely saying anything, prompting Post Malone's first response to the interview by tweeting, I'm 20. I've done about 20 interviews in my life. Ashlyn's done about one. If you're hating, get off our dicks. Doo-doo heads, bruh. Before Post I'm a assuming they're not together, though. Malone appeared on 106KML to talk about Charlemagne himself. This is about Charlemagne. What's up, Charlemagne? <laughs> oh, we. I like. Oh, say it to my face. I'm just joking. <laughs> He's so stupid. I mean, I get it. I mean, that's his job. Right. I mean, that's his job to be a troll mm -hmm. on the radio and on the internet. I will and say you handled that very. No, well. that's what I'm saying. You know, um, you can't, you can't get too excited. Just gotta relax. It's not that serious. Post Malone expanded on this when talking to Ethan from the H3 podcast. Right. What, what, is this, what is this? What is this? I didn't came at it's you okay. in a really yeah. shitty way. I think it's really easy to come at me. Just a guy that makes music, and I've, not only that, but I feel like it's his job to be a troll. He should have said something like. If you're in that situation, it's a hell of a lot different. Of and course. The internet's a funny place. Yeah. Yet Post Malone later explained in a Rolling Stone article that it might have been better to put the questions back on a Charlemagne. I wish I'd said, what are you doing for Black Lives Matter? Some sassy shit to shut him up. Like, maybe my music's not the best, but I know I'm not a bad person. So you're just being a hater. Charlemagne yeah. being a hater made The Breakfast Club look so bad, they'd wiped the episode from their official channel and website, while Posty's humility opened up unexpected opportunities. He began touring with Justin Bieber, had an extremely successful debut album launch, and gained over a million Instagram followers, prompting The you Breakfast see, Club to invite. You see, you see, shit happened for a reason. Okay. Invite him back for another interview, which Post Malone unbelievably accepted. The top comment read, I'm not sure why Post Malone would ever return to this radio show. However, he was set to win no matter what. Either The Breakfast Club treats him disrespectfully, Post Malone keeps his cool and sees growth just like the last interview, or The Breakfast Club treats him respectfully, Post Malone again easily keeps his cool and sees growth, with Situation 2 seeming more likely, given the second interview began by acknowledging how poorly the previous one went. Oh, he's back! 
back. <laughs> and he has a Bud Light with him today. Yeah, hell yeah. Post man. Malone. Post Malone is back. I wasn't here, and it got rough. It no, didn't, though. It didn't get rough. People always tweet me like, yo, you were so hard on Post Malone. How? <laughs> we had a conversation. Well, you did say that he was going to lose his girl, but she's and still she's here. here. However, Charlemagne's jealousy had only gotten worse. What's the hardest thing? Is it like the stardom? Is it the money? Is it the fame? Resulting in him instantly trying to sabotage Post's relationship with Justin Bieber. He got mad girls in the studio. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Mad drugs, oh, mad stop. alcohol. You never been over there? Oh, oh, in the studio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I mean, not really. You never been in the studio yeah. with him with a bunch of no, girls? No, yeah, I mean, not really. This man eats salmon three times a day, <laughs> and a, apparently that's very good for you. Apparently. <laughs> so, yeah, but what about all the drugs? He doesn't do a lot of drugs. He's he doesn't do it. You see, like, what is wrong with him? It, it, he must have a lot of hate in his heart. He's uh, he's unhappy, and he looks like a turtle. Any drugs, he smokes actually. Weed. Yeah, Posty kept his cool and instead did the opposite. And you and Justin really uh, developed quite a friendship. He's huh? a good guy, you know? I, lo I love him. And I have so much respect for him. This would later bring their friendship even closer, although in the meantime, Charlemagne was still trying to ruin Post Malone's relationship. How did you hook up with Kalani? Because the one with Kalani's dope. Beautiful like young the, lady. No, she's super dope. Mm -hmm. right. She's dope. super dope. Beautiful super young too. lady. Super dope. Stop Isn't it. she beautiful? <laughs> Ash, is she beautiful? Yes. She said yes. Ash, yes. Right, okay. So you're not allowed to even like acknowledge that girls are beautiful? No, he never said that. He said she was dope. He didn't say she was beautiful. So you have to ask Ashley like stuff like that? Like, Cause in, I'm sure in, the in women have come at you. Yeah. Ashley, there right it is again. Here it is again. <laughs> Round two. I'm sure the women um, have come with you. Which was ironic given Charlemagne constantly talks about this man's woman and trying to get her on camera, but he goes out of his way to make sure nobody knows what his wife looks like. Posty responded by again inviting Charlemagne to a free football match. Can you get Charlemagne tickets? Yeah, I mean, if you're nice. I'm going you, Sunday. They gotta go with each other. Y'all gotta go with each other. Like, Let's go. Each other in the game. Nah, Let's, no. Oh, you don't you like me? You no, I don't dislike you, but you I don't like the smell of beer and cigarettes. Post. And Post Malone smells like every beer and every cigarette that's in whatever convenience store in New York City right now. It's, it's the new Kid Rock right here, ladies How and gentlemen. With the Kid Rock comment leading to another booby-trapped question. Did that you vote for Trump? I didn't vote. Tell me more. Because you're young and you got a voice, so I would like to know your this thoughts on This is weird, bro. Current. This is very weird as fuck. Like, I, I don't... I. Why? First of all, you invite a mofo back, apologize in the beginning, and do the same shit. Current system. Do you feel like one of them was more fit than the other, though? I mean, if you had... I, I, I'm, I'm going to talk about that <laughs> with my friends. What do you do when, you're, when you experience racism? Like, meaning that you're around some white people who may be being racist. How do you... I mean, I don't, I don't hang out with race. Charlemagne disrespected Post Malone over. <laughs> you tweeted once that, um, I don't know, I don't follow you on Twitter. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> and over. Do you listen to it? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I might, though. What do you mean, absolutely? <laughs> you might like it. <laughs> You might like it. However, Post Malone had again managed to keep his cool, resulting in even more favor from the audience. Everyone is talking about I how- I swear to God, he's better than me. He's better than me. I couldn't do it. And like I said, it wouldn't be no petty shit. It would be straight up breaking you the fuck down from your soul. Let's take it all the way back. Let me ask you the questions, bitch. The fuck? They were. But what stands out even more is Post's ability to not let them under his skin or at least not show it. He's a great dude with a lot of compassion and love for what he does and everything slash everyone around for him. Mad respect for this dude and the way he conducts himself while everyone only had the opposite to say about Charlemagne. Charlemagne hella disrespectful. He's the product of jealousy. To see a kid much younger than you living your dream, it's gotta be tough. Someone's feelings are hurt because the best they'll ever do is a morning radio show and Post made dude feel stupid just by being his nice positive self, leading Charlemagne to then invite someone dressed like Post Malone onto the show just so he could mock him. It's therefore no surprise that when asked about Charlemagne, a this doesn't make any sense. The dude was chill as fuck, and I feel like that's what pisses certain people off when they want a reaction out of you and they can't get it, they get mad. That fuels something in him. And then he doing all this extra shit weirdo. Yeah, after the breakfast club, Post Malone calmly told Rolling Stone, he's not a good person. He hates me because I'm white and I'm different. But we're still rocking and we're still successful and he can't stop it. Although this had only reignite their beef as Charlemagne responded, I don't not like people because they're white. I just didn't like him because at the time I thought he was whack. Adding that he loves Rockstar and encourages Malone to keep growing, keep winning. Although only 10 days after this, Charlemagne was saying the opposite. <laughs> After reading this Rolling Stone interview, not only is his music not my cup of mayonnaise, but neither is his personality. Because you're not his- And uh, you're not anyone's cup of fucking bullshit, bitch. I'm sorry.
talented as you think you are. Charlemagne then went to the effort. I met him, he was a really good guy. Yeah. And he had really great energy. While even Jake Paul, who had his own beef with Post Malone, told Charlemagne his attacks were baseless. We actually like went back and forth Post on Twitter. Post is trash, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, he's number one. Still trash. He can be number one and still be trash. Numbers don't lie, bro. He's trash, bro. Numbers do lie sometimes. Numbers don't tell a whole tale. All right, well. He doesn't like posts, as you can see. Damn, Jake Paul actually taking a W, and so was Post Malone in his own lane of music. Beer Bongs and Bentley's release just four months after the Jake Paul interview peaked at number one on every chart in every country, while Hollywood's Bleeding performed equally well, turning the Breakfast Club interviews into an insignificant chapter in Post Malone's come up. Charlemagne, however, still hadn't moved on over two years later. You gotta kick two people out right now. You trying to kick out the rap game because you you real critical about rap. Yeah. Post Malone. Although it finally showed that he'd been somewhat humbled. Post Malone definitely though. And, and for no other reason other than I just probably, I'm probably hate you. Which could also be felt during a Vlad TV interview. I'm cool, clearly with white people being in hip hop. Just Why are we talking about this so damn much, bro? Like, what the fuck? why you're here. You're here because of these people that laid the foundation for you to even have the platform of hip hop to stand. One of Charlemagne's most. I mean, I feel it, but even like some of the songs that he made, like White Iverson, you know, that's really melodic. Like that is. Are we saying that it's shaping, like, or where he's copying black hip hop? Like, I don't know what we're talking about. Like, I feel like that would be better fit for Jack Harlow, and I'm not saying that it applies, but I'm just saying the argument just doesn't feel like it has any like source like it's baseless like you feel me so i don't know he just seems like a hater on everybody to be completely honest he seems like he gets off from making people feel little and him feel like as big as his damn head and i just don't think that's cool at all i feel like you a fucked up person if you felt like that so it's what it is though but anyways y'all like comment subscribe Oh, wait. Fuck. Respectful and entertaining traits is that he sticks to his guns and refuses to be a pushover. Although in this case, he probably should have made an exception. Just don't be a dick because like dicks get places, but then like at the end of the night. You okay. I, I don't know what, where we, we, we were going with that, but yeah, he just seems really like fucked up as an individual. Like I said, this isn't the only time I've seen him in multiple countless videos, not just with white artists, not just with men, but with females, black females, white, it, it, he just seems like a fucked up person. I'm not going to lie. It seems like he's a miserable on oh, God. Cause you do not, you, you, your questions aren't fueled by shit like that. When you aren't miserable, to be honest, when you're trying to embarrass people, you know, the shit is online, you know, the shit is forever. And it's just, you know, it's just fucked up. So anyways, now is the end. <laughs> Y'all like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. I'll see you on the next one.